This is a pedigree of a hypothetical family affected with Lush and I hand syndrome. Now you can't see the numbers very well in this video unfortunately, but what we have here is we have generation one, generation two, and generation three. So these two individuals are generation one, uh, these individuals right here are generation two, and these individuals right here are generation three. And we have individuals one, individual two for generation one, individual one, two, three, four, etc. for generation two. Um, you get the idea. If not, leave a comment in the box. All right, so let's take a look at the first two individuals that we see here in this pedigree. We have generation one, we have individual one and individual two. Now we can see that individual one, which would be for generation one, which would be grandpa and this family, has he is he is not a carrier for Lesh and I hand syndrome, nor does he have it. Which males there's no such thing as a male who is a carrier for Lesh and I hand syndrome because um, females are the carriers since it's an X-linked trait. Uh, males only have one X chromosome, so you either have Lesh and I hand syndrome or you don't. Um, and I'm going to talk more later about the rare cases where females have Lesh and I hand syndrome. All right, moving on, We're going over to the female for generation one, which would be grandma in this family. She is actually a care for Lesh Nye hand syndrome. You can tell by how this is drawn. Now this, one of her, an enzyme on one of her X chromosomes, one of the genes that codes for an enzyme, let me say this more specifically, is mutated so that it doesn't function properly. Now, she has another X chromosome though, so she has a healthy form of the enzyme and she also has a mutant form. But the healthy form is able to compensate, hence the reason this is a recessive mutation. Now if we go over, now let's look at this, uh, let's look at generation two. In generation two we have one individual who is affected by Lesh Nye hand syndrome. Um, one of the sons, one of the male offspring of generation one is affected by Lesh Nye hand syndrome. And the reason for this is that he would have inherited one of the X alleles from his mother. And males, of course, never inherit an X chromosome from their father. Um, they only inherit the X chromosome from their mother. So the males have a 50-50 chance of inheriting the X chromosome with a mutant allele and a 50-50 chance of inheriting the X chromosome with the healthy allele or the normal, the wild type allele, whatever you want to call it. Now, in this family, we have, we have a male who is not affected. Notice we never see a male with, in, with a line through it and colored in uh, for reasons that I've already explained and most of you who are watching this video would know anyway. Um, but here, we have two females who are carriers. So in this family, um, if these two were to go to a genetic counselor, um, assuming that they have access to a genetic counselor, and they were to be tested for Lesh and I hand disease, the genetic counselor would tell them, each of your daughters will have a 50-50 chance of being a carrier for Lesh and I hand syndrome, and each of your sons will have a 50-50 chance of having Lesh and I hand, of actually having Lesh and I hand and having it be expressed. And females, it's very, like I said, it's very, very, very rare for them to be expressed. Um, now we go to generation three, we have a female who is a carrier, again, um, she's one of the daughters of the carrier right here. She received a mutant X allele from her mother and a normal, and the normal X allele from her father. Her father, of course, only had one to give, and he, since he's a male and he's not going to be a carrier, the only allele for this particular enzyme, this particular gene that he has to give to her is the normal, the healthy, the wild type allele. Now right here, this daughter is not a carrier because she received the healthy X allele from her mother and her father's healthy X allele as well. Um, now if you look, or his X chromosome. Now if you look at this family, this is what you would this is, it would be about the average you would expect if a family had two, about half the girls are going to be carriers and a half, um, half will not be carriers. You know, if we made this 
if we added uh, another two girls though onto this family, you know, it could be that two of them are carriers. It could be that neither of them are carriers. I mean, with it's kind of like a, it's kind of a coin toss. It's you can, if you don't toss four coins, you know, they're not always going to land two of them on heads and two of them on tails. 50-50 chance you'll still sometimes get four heads four tails, three heads, three tails, all kinds of different combinations. And the same goes for genetics. So a 50-50 probability does not mean exactly half the kids will be one way and exactly half will be the other. Sometimes it works out that way by coincidence, though. If you had a thousand kids, it would be about 50-50 of your kids, though. Um, at that, those high numbers, things would be a little different. So we go to this next uh, family. This individual, um, individual three for generation two, to, um, this is a male who has a healthy allele on his X chromosome, and he is he goes on and he finds Mrs. Wright, and they have a child together. Now there is no chance that he can pass on Leshenai hand syndrome to this child. The only way that could happen is if there was a mutation here somewhere. Um, but he is not since he did not inherit Leshenai hand from his mother. Um, he is not does not have it he does not have that allele to pass on to his son now same goes for right here since this individual is not a carrier they only have healthy x you know they might have unhealthy genes in other areas but at least for lush eye hand syndrome um they only have the healthy allele to pass on to these individuals anyway now you know the husband of course he's not going to be a carrier because that doesn't happen with males. Now, going on to this family, we have it where, you know, mom is, mom's a carrier, and she marries a healthy male, and they go on and they have kids, and um, again, it just so happens that half their daughters, half of one of their daughters is a carrier, one is a not, one of their sons has Lush and Eye Hand Syndrome, one doesn't. Um, like I said, the numbers can, just like flipping heads, uh, or flipping coins, heads and tails, you can get all kinds of different combinations, um, but about 50-50 is what you would normally expect. About half the girls will be carriers, about half the boys will have Lush and I hand syndrome expressed. Now, this individual right here, who has Lush and I hand syndrome, because this is such a debilitating disease, which I explain uh, both on the web page for the Lush and I hand syndrome that I'm developing and I will be explaining in other videos. Because this individual has Lush and I hand syndrome, it is very, very, very unlikely that he is going to find uh, Mrs. Wright and have children with her. Um, this is this would be something that you wouldn't want to happen because of the debilitating nature of this disease. Also, this um, individual would not be capable of supporting a family. Um, so there are a lot of there are a lot of reasons why you would you wouldn't see a Leshnihan affected male going on to have children. Now I mentioned earlier that there are rare cases where a female might have Leshnihan syndrome. Um, I'm just going to kind of draw this right here, kind of ignore the rest of this uh, tree. Um, what that what would have to happen in this case, uh, generally speaking, is you might have a female who is a carrier, and she might go and find Mr. Wright, and lo and behold, they have a baby, and we'll say this is a baby girl. The only way for this child to have, for a female child to have Lush Nyhan syndrome or the most likely way, at least, is that the woman would have to be a carrier, and so she gives her, she gives this the mutant X allele to her daughter, and the father, his X allele is normally healthy, but he might have a mutation in the cells that would go on to produce sperm, so that he ends up actually giving her the Lesh Nihan allele as well. So both of these X chromosomes with the mutant X, with the mutant, uh, with a mutated form of the enzyme that causes Lush and I hand disease, will be inherited by this daughter. Now, like I said, this is extremely rare. Lush and I hand disease, even in males, is extremely, extremely rare as it is. 
um, in females it would be even more exceptionally rare. Um, I didn't see any exact cases of this online, of course I didn't look very hard either. Um, however, from my reading it does sound like there have been a few rare, rare instances where there is a female with Leshenai hand syndrome. Alright, uh, thank you very much. Uh, see the links below. Um, this is going to be posted on the Leshenai hand disease um, page for the webpage that I'm building. And also check out my other website, greenslug.com. And remember, slug is spelled with uh, two Gs. So I'll, I'll put a link below the video as well. Uh, thank you very much, and you all have a good day.